In this video, I'll go over upgrading a Synology NAS running DSM-6 to the newly released DSM-7. I'll highlight the important items you should investigate before doing the upgrade, then I'll go through the steps of upgrading my Synology DS920 Plus to DSM-7. I'm here on Synology's release notes webpage for DSM-7, and I just want to go over some of the items that you need to look for before upgrading. First, just note that the official release of DSM-7 is build number 41890 that was released on June 29, 2021. Your Synology NAS should be running DSM 6.2 or higher before doing the upgrade. And DSM-7 does use up more system resources, so you may want to reconsider upgrading if your NAS has less than 1 gig of memory. The update for DSM-7 should show up in your DSM-6 update and restore control panel in a few weeks, but to upgrade now, you'll need to download the upgrade patch from Synology's download center and do a manual update to DSM-7. Some Synology NAS models can only be upgraded by downloading the patch from the Synology download center, so if you have one of these models, make sure to do the download and the manual update. Other Synology NAS models, which are listed here, don't have an upgrade option yet, and the patch is currently under development. Lastly, after upgrading to DSM-7, you won't have an official downgrade option to a previous version of DSM, so be aware of that as well. There are unofficial and unsupported ways to downgrade to a previous version of DSM, and if you have any questions on doing that, leave a comment down below, and I'll see if I can point you in the right direction. For additional details of changes affecting DSM and its packages, as well as what's new and what issues have been fixed, I'll leave a link to the DSM-7 release notes page in the description below so you can read up on changes and issues that may be relevant to your Synology NAS setup. As mentioned in the intro, I'll be upgrading my Synology DS920 Plus to DSM-7. It does have 4 gigs of memory and is currently running DSM 6.2.4, so I should be all set for the upgrade. I'll download the upgrade patch file by hitting over to Synology's download center, select NAS from the product type pull-down menu, and select my Synology NAS model. I need to choose the DSM upgrade path that I'd like to take, which is going from 6.2.4 to 7.0, and download the DSM patch file needed to do the upgrade. Now that I have the patch file, I can head over to DSM and into the Update and Restore control panel. Here, I need to be on the DSM Update tab and then select Manual DSM Update. I'll browse to find the file that I just downloaded and click on Upload and then OK to transfer the file to the NAS. At this point, an update notice screen appears that details how long the update may take, which depends on the computing power of the NAS and the packages installed, along with a message regarding Quick Connect SSL certificates being updated through Let's Encrypt and a message on third-party packages. I'm fine with this, so I'll check the box that I understand and agree to update the system and click Next. I'll click Yes on this message window, confirming that I want to continue. For my DS920 Plus, the installation of DSM-7 took less than 5 minutes to complete and another 2 minutes to update the system database and the installed packages before the login screen was displayed. At this point, I was able to log in with my admin account that was set up in DSM-6 and click through the welcome screens to get to the newly installed DSM-7 desktop window. The upgrade from DSM-6 to DSM-7 was a nice and easy process for me, and I hope you have the same experience as well. Let me know how things work out for you in the comments below. I'll also be releasing new videos shortly covering some of the new features available in DSM-7, so please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment to let me know what features of DSM-7 you are most interested in learning about. Lastly, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in upgrading to DSM-7. Thanks so much for watching.